What we're going to look at today is how to define or create a site in Dreamweaver. And this will be a CSS site. Um, when you first open up Dreamweaver, you'll see this screen here. It's called the Welcome Menu. And on the left, we have recent items that we've worked on. In the middle, we have um, some basic templates that we can use. And on the right, we have some more in-depth templates that we can can use. Once you've created the site, you can always come back to it really quickly. You're clicking the uh, drop-down menu here, and it shows a list of your previous sites that were on on this computer. Um, you'll also have your most current uh, site still on there, so if you don't on the same site over, uh, it'll stop. To set this specifically, we go down to here where it says Dreamweaver site, and we're going to find it and there's two tabs at the top. The advanced is really easier, at least fine. And we're going to give this a site name. And it can be anything you want to be. Uh, what we'll this is asking is where do we want to save this. So we'll send the third button there. I'm going to it's best to save it at the highest level possible, which is the structure. And we're going to create it in a folder. I'm just going to recall the site name. We'll open that, and it's asking us to select this folder. This is the folder we want as our parent folder. For our default images, we're going to click on the folder. Again, notice we're inside a site name folder, our parent folder. As long as we're here, we're going to create a CSS folder because we're going to use that later. Now we're going to create our images folder. Open that and select where they require what where she our images. And that's it. That's all we're going to do now. Okay. So up to the right here in our file, we have a folder set up and we need to create a first file. Easiest to do it is right click that top folder, the new file. And homepage should be called HTML. So there's our first page. Double click to access. And we have preview, split view, design view, design over length. We have made. It. So what I'm going to do first is create a hidden tanner. Our tanners are I'm sorry, div it equals container. Our container is good for storing thing, all the other content. Uh, this way we can set it with and do a other thing. Up in our top right we have our CSS panel. So really the two, there's just the places that we're really going to be worried. First in code, this, this uh, the design view I just used to previous things, but uh, you might be a little different. The top is our CSS and near the bottom. So those are three things, three pages that build because we're looking at. Once your CSS is on all, we're going to put our cursor in idle contain and click on the new CSS open. We can put our first side container automatically handle one and it gives us the options. We can just for these, this is for text over here, tool, the tag or a link, um, or paragraph tag, as well as for class or read the class. The class is things we really use that are for elements and this is it I do so so class class selector. We'll give it um, go ahead and click A. We have to first we access we set up our CS sheet and single one is already is sold. So we'll just call this select name sus. Just give this back on color there. And you'll have different categories here. Have you general things that do a right thing, right line to odd left also? That will center it. Okay. Alright, so we got a blue box there. Put your color to show the, the CSS as well. It's also here in CSS fold, our pan. We're going to make edit it, and duplicate it, go back and make changes. And it's also here in our. In our Tech is a component of it. This box looks as we fill. So, we did how we set the CS file or CSS website in Dreamweaver. 